Hello! So, in previous episode of this series, we made the ChatGPT integration with our backend for the game. We can send messages and we can receive answers. So, this is cool, but let's implement the front-end part. Since we are using Svelte and SvelteKit, uh, and we already have this endpoint for the backend, uh, what we need to do is we need to go to Roots, uh, Games, and this page swell for the game. And let me remind you, this is how this page looks like. So we have area on the right here that is currently empty. It can have some inventory items, but uh, I don't think this list will be long. So what about we use this area for some small chat window where we can ask questions to our API. Um, I mean, AI, not API. Okay, so let's find this place in the code. This is a room art place. Uh -huh, and this is inventory place. Okay, cool. So we have UL, LI things here. Okay. And let's make another LI. I'm not very good at CSS. Um, but I'm trying to do my best. So LI will work for now. Let's locate some placeholder one is messages where our history will be another one will be input so let's start with input here we can define that we want input by default it's of type text and uh, it should bind value of message message here okay and uh, when we submit we should uh, we should use a uh, the store uh, a store we don't have it yet but we will create it in a moment uh, that will send this data to the backend okay so that's input input is very simple later on we'll add some classes um, and also let's wrap it all into a form. So form will have on submit. Also we are going to use prevent default. If I remember correctly, we can write it just through pipe. And on submit we'll do call of a function. And uh, first step will be to use chat store this doesn't exist yet chat store dot send message and the second step would be to make message empty message equals empty string okay so message is highlighted we need to define it let's go to the top and here we can say let message equals empty string okay so that was our form let's wrap it here okay cool and we don't have chat store before we go to the chat store uh, let's quickly iterate over messages here so we can use each chat store dollar uh, messages uh-huh and message as message i think okay cool and let's close each and here what we should do is to well for now let's just output message i think it will be message role and message context so message sorry content content okay that will be 1p and one more P for the role. Role. Okay, so this is very minimal setup. Now we need to go and implement the store. I think also let's locate our browser window on the right so we can see what we are doing. Uh -huh. So we have all the stores located in this alias add stores 
which actually related to this client folder and stores folder inside. So let's create create chat.store.ts here. We'll also re-export it all, like everything from it. Okay, and uh, let's define simple, simple store. So as you remember, in Svelte we have writable and readable stores. For this one we'll use writable. Writable. So it is typed. I'll just call it store, the type of the uh, of the store. And it takes initial value. So both of these things we need to define. One is interface store of state sorry it's it should be state store of type state yeah and inside we'll have messages which is array of i'll quickly inline styles here role is either user either assistant okay and um it also has content, which is string. Okay, nice. So this is type for messages. Also, we need to type, uh, I think, current message. Or should we? Or should we not? No, current message will immediately append to the messages. Uh, but we should have is loading or is sending. Uh, which will be boolean. This will uh, identify the state of our request to the backend. Is it still running? And also, if there is an error, we want it to be a uh, string. Cool. This is the state interface. Let's define initial value. It's of type state. And basically, it's just empty, like messages in the end array uh, is sending is sending is false. Hey, pretty, what's up? What's up? Everything okay? Uh, and error is undefined, but it's optional, so we can omit it. Okay, nice. So this is our store. But as you can see, we do not export it. What we are going to export will be our public interface. Public interface is a constant called chat store, and it's an object. It has subscribe method that uh, will just re-export store subscribe. Okay, also it should has a public uh, method send message uh, let's just call it send. So, and send is a function that takes message, which is string. And uh, first of all, it should append to the messages. So, we say store update. And here we have access to state and state messages. Uh, will be state messages and mm, role user content message that's what user just sent okay also state is sending will become true cool so and we need to return state Nice, so this will mark is sending as true and uh, our message will be appended to the messages uh, object array. The next step is we need to send HTTP request. So let's make a placeholder here, HTTP request to API slash chat. HTTP request post and message string. Okay, this will be our placeholder. Once the request is ready, by the way, it will be a sync function, so we can await for this request. And once we get the answer back, 
we need to update the store again and we will get answer so user will be assistant content answer that we don't have yet but we'll define it here in a moment and it's sending false also we'll wrap it in try catch like if there is any error uh, try catch error unknown okay if error is of instance or error instance of error uh, error has dot message error dot message and we will save this message to store store dot error equals error dot message oh wait, actually it's state sorry uh, a lot of confusion store state everything starts with s and the is sending becomes false we should return the store oh actually state and uh, yeah that's basically it if it is an error okay what do we have here error is of type unknown wait this is known it's already instance of error otherwise we'll just say same thing but we will type here unknown error and also in both cases let's console error it just so we can see it uh, for debugging purposes at any time okay cool so let's format it nice why it's still unknown okay maybe we need to fix uh, previous errors in the code so uh, TypeScript again will understand what it is so answer will be inside the response and we need to await here we'll use function request we have this function in other store I think we need to uh, light please okay we need to re-export it from other uh, store to use as a helper function but we expect a result type to be answer string okay so here we'll define slash api slash chat and it will be of type post and the payload will be will be will be will be um yeah our message message cool okay let's go and find this request i know i think i'm using it here yep helper it's time to move it out so we have a helpers file here let's put it and export it so as you can see this is a function it is typed I mean like uh, this TV thing and it returns promise of the same type it takes URL method and payload and what it does inside it uh, justifies your payload and uh, adds header content type application JSON and blah 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 just use fetch to send request and then passes the request as it is at JSON cool so we modified the game store so let's re-import it okay uh, since we are refactoring let's find if any other store has the same helper function and maybe we need to replace it too okay this is web free stuff with wallet it doesn't do any request as I can see am I right um, yeah seems like that what else game store chat store okay we don't have so many stores so seems like this is it let's 
import our quest and now we have answer wait this is oh we can actually destruct it so we can get answer like this okay and this is it this should work now okay but error is still unknown oh typescript what what happened you should already know it huh uh okay let's make a quick hack here saying as error that should do the trick but sometimes i'm confused like this is definitely a type guard and inside this if it should know that error is of instance instance of error wait do i i may use uh, syntax incorrectly typescript instance of let's quickly google it yep 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 i think we're using it correctly okay so do we have everything ready or not yet chat store we haven't imported it chat store okay uh no errors so far this is good we have an input here uh let's see i think we also can add a loading animation so we have loading component it has size attribute let's put small here and we only want to show it if chat store has is sending true okay yeah this is correct let's try it in action uh, to try it correctly i want to go and see network tab so if there are any issues we'll see it okay so for example who am i okay we see animation our message is here and the input cleaned up we're waiting and we got the answer hello anton i'm eve blah 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 nice okay so now we just need to style this thing a little bit better and uh, that would do the trick i see that our network uh works fine so we can close this i'll move myself to the left uh and let's style it a bit so here we are we can have um, um blah 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 we can have a starter message from eve here like hey i'm eve um i will help you to survive or something uh yeah let's try it out later on we'll fetch list of previous conversations with eve from the back end but for now we need to make it at least somehow nice so here inside messages we create one message it will be of role assistant and content will be uh, hello i'm eve okay let, let's use the template string i'm eve the ship AI, what can I do for you today? Okay, and here we see it. Uh, instead of saying assistant, uh, let's go to our template and uh, here if it is, if role equals user, then we'll say you, otherwise we'll say AI and let's add the colon and let's see okay nice it looks good uh, let's just highlight it a little bit with different text like 
text white. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is this. So each message I want to wrap a div. And also the whole messages thing I want to wrap with div that will have class flex, flex call, and I want it to have gap free between uh, messages elements. Okay, nice. And now let's add some gap between the input as well. And I think this load an animation too. Okay, also our input is stretched because uh, this is flex behavior. I think we need to add some nicer input element. Uh, let's add, ask chat GPT for some nice, uh, let's even use GPT-4. Give me tailwind CSS classes for a nice input input nice text input okay oh, yeah, it explains a lot <laughs> just give me text I mean okay let's stop it um, give me just class names space separated it should be faster oh. okay I, I i i'd love to make my own chat gpt interface simple web application first of all i see sometimes chat gpt history is not available and uh, other type times it's available but not the whole thing or sometimes I saw conversations of other people with chat GPT and it's totally confusing okay so again give me tailwind CSS class names space separated no explanation class names for uh, input text input mm -hmm. okay this is better we can just copy it and paste it sometimes when it types like this I think it would be faster if it would just uh, output the whole answer all together Okay, we pasted it here. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, yeah, it's it's a little bit nicer. That would work for now. So it says, hello, I'm Eve, the ship's AI. What can I do for you? Um, so this, this is fine, but I think uh, as a next step in the next series, we'll make so Eve can support us from uh, with moving in the ship uh, from room to room. Right now, if we would type it like, how do I get to medical room? There is one. It would probably doesn't know because it doesn't know anything about the ship. But at least we can chat with it. Hello, Anton, I'm Eve, blah, blah, blah. So it still keeps that context because the backend part of uh, SwellKit is not uh, restarting because we worked only on the front end. And I love how SwellKit and Vit res, uh, how to say, uh, uses this hot module reloading to only reload what changed, like our styles, our classes, but not the whole server. Okay, so we've lost in space, blah, blah, blah. Regarding the question about medical room, I need to know your current location. Um, so, yeah, we can chat with it and we will see conversation here let's see how it looks on the desktop oh this is fine 
I think we'll need to wrap it somehow to distinguish it for, from the inventory part. But for now this is good. I'm just afraid we'll see some scroll here if we have more of the, of the messages. Uh, let's actually check it out. Can you please tell me where you are right now? I am in the Stasis Pods room. This information we will put in the setup so it knows aha, uh -huh, user is currently in the Stasis Pods room and we will also feed it with the schema of the ship so it knows. It keeps saying that we've lost this pennies. <laughs> I will do my best. Uh, please exit the Stasis Pods rooms and follow the signs for the medical bay. Okay, this is this is cool. So, um, let's see what's our plan for the next uh, episode of this series. The front end uh, right now works fine, and we made it at least somehow nice. Next, we need to go. Uh, let me move myself. We need to go to the back end. Uh, and where is our API chat server? So right now, this chat is not related to this game number three that we have. And in the next episode, here we will feed this setup with information of the current game. Uh, like the game has its state, what room we are in, what we did before, and so on. So we'll feed it straightly to the setup. Meanwhile, thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode somewhere there. Ciao!